Hello YouTube, this is Adara, also known as Canius on DeviantArt, uh, signing on with a new project. Um, since Comic Con has come and passed, uh, and I really enjoyed my uh, Commander Shepard outfit, I decided to rebuild myself a new set of armor, uh, mainly because even though I was able to wear my armor for a considerable amount of time on the Sunday of the Phoenix Comic Con, it did eventually fall apart on me. Uh, due to the fact that I had underestimated the Arizona heat and its toll that it would take on, on the super glue, or hot glue, sorry. I apparently did not add enough. So, um, but for now we're going to work on the gloves that I have going on here. Uh, these are just normal gloves that I bought from uh, Home Depot uh, with the addition of adding some socks to them. Uh, these are the ends and some black socks that I had. Um, I sewed them onto the edges here uh, and so when I put these on it covers up to here on my forearm. Um, that way none of my skin will be exposed if I wear just a long sleeve shirt and it kind of uh, bunches up. But uh, So as you can see the problem already, these are red. Uh, when I first bought them they were bright red, so after dyeing these with regular dye, like a cloth dye, it didn't work. It just made it into like a muddy, uh, m a muddy darker red, but the, the gray, everything that was gray on here is now black, or this used to be white and it's now gray, but so we're going to try a different approach. And this I learned on a cosplay, cosplaytipsandtricks.com or cosplay, cosplayershelp.com, I don't exactly remember where, and I learned this from when I was trying to dye a wig for my roommate's Raspberry out cosplay, before I finally broke down and just bought a bright pink wig because nothing seemed to work on that particular wig. <coughs> but so this is what we're going to do. So here I have a giant bottle of 70% uh, rubbing alcohol pretty much and some sharpies. Now as you can see this is already like a grayish black color It's because I already got started on it and I was going to show you how to break open a sharpie pretty quick. I've seen some people take off the lids and then saw open this area to pry it out, or some people grab like pliers and do that, but you don't even need that, really. You just need your bare hands, so you just grab it, and then press, and it breaks open. It's stupid simple, I don't know why people make it harder than they, they need to seem on YouTube, but whatever works for them, I suppose. And so after we got the ink, ink felt out, we're going to cut it open. And mainly we're doing this so that the rubbing alcohol can absorb more of the ink. That is the purpose of that. And again, demonstrate just how easy that is. It's not even that much force, really. There we go. And one more. This concoction that I have, I have about 10 Sharpies in there. There we go. Expose these. So now I have 10 Sharpies in here. I'm just going to shake it up. And to make sure that it's the color I want. I don't have any q-tips. So it's a little gray, but it's because I didn't give the Sharpies enough time to, to absorb all this alcohol. But that is okay. So, and the idea is that I'm going to let this sit for a while, probably for about an hour. Maybe not even that, it probably only needs about like 20-30 minutes. And then this pot that I bought from uh, Goodwill, because I don't want to be using a uh, a good pot that I would probably cook in because that's probably be bad. And then I'm just going to put these in here and eventually dump all this in here and then leave this overnight. And the idea is that um, with things that are hard to dye, such as like nylon or stretchy fabric like this, it's it doesn't take well to uh, reg regular clothing dye and that's why we have the permanent markers because you know permanent markers stain everything, right? And then the rubbing alcohol because it dries easily, and it dries quickly, so it evaporates from the clothing fairly well. Uh, that's the idea behind all this. So, uh, 
So later I will not film it, but later I will actually put this concoction in here and then leave this overnight and then when I update again, hopefully these will be black. <laughs> if not, I did something horribly wrong, like didn't add enough Sharpies, which is probably something I may have to do. But that's okay. Well, it's a learning experience even for me, because last time I did this I did it with a, a dirty, dirty blonde wig and I was trying to make it pink. It did turn pink, but it looked like real hair that was dyed pink and it's been fading. So and as you can see this is the dye that I used for that. Again, rubbing alcohol with bright pink markers. But it did work. It was out of all the other things we did to that wig, that was the one thing that had worked on it. So I have hope. Um, and again these are gonna when I get done with these gloves, these are gonna be the gloves from the hand kit hand ketter set. So I still need to build uh, the knuckle pieces, the thumb piece, uh, the main back of the hand piece, and then I was going to get, I don't know, latex probably, and cover the, the tips with them so I can actually grip stuff. Because the pictures I see, the, the tips of all the fingers are gray, and those are the plans I have. So, other than that, that's all I had to show you guys today. This is Adara, also known as Canius on DeviantArt, signing off, and I'll talk to you all later when I have this done. Alright, talk to you all later.